Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how we can use Excel's data validation tool to ensure that only unique values can be entered into a range. We're going to assign account numbers to the customers. We want to ensure that a unique account number is assigned. In other words, we don't want duplicate account numbers. We'll use Excel's data validation tool. Let's make a selection of five accounts. For data validation, we come to the Data tab on the ribbon. In Data Tools, choose Data Validation, Data Validation. There are three tabs over here on the dialog box. First, the settings we want to choose from a custom. We're going to be using a function. We're going to be using the count if function as part of a formula. So allow custom and then write your formula. The formula will be equals count if. Now count if has two required arguments. The first is the range. We want to select all of the cells in column A. So our range will be A colon A, comma, and our second, criteria, our second argument will be the criteria. So we want to point to one cell. We'll begin it by pointing to cell A2. So I'll just type in there A2. Now to finish this off, to make it a unique entry, we follow it by equals 1. Now I'll explain that a little bit later. All right, now before I click OK, let's come over and explore the input message. So here will be enter account number. And now let's put in an input message. Enter a unique five digit number. And I like to say, for example, give them an example one, two, three, four, five. All right, now let's come over here to the error alert. There are three styles. Only the stop style will actually prevent a, unique, a, a duplicate entry. So I'll put in here duplicate and put a message in. This account number has been assigned. Try again. All right, now we're ready to click OK. So notice over here that for the five cells, the five account numbers, I have the input message. When I come down here, I no longer have data validation. I'll show you how to extend this later. All right, so let's put in our first account number, one, two, three, four, five. Second account number, two, three, four, five, six. Now, watch what happens when I attempt to put in a number that's already been taken, one, two, three, four, five. You see, now I get that duplicate account message. So I want to choose a different number. I'm going to retry and I'll put in three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, how do I extend data validation? So I put it into a small range. How do I take this data validation and extend it to the other account numbers? We'll choose to right mouse click, choose copy, make our selection for the remaining accounts and remaining customers, right mouse click, and choose not paste, but paste special. In the Pay Special dialog box, notice that we have an option for copying and pasting the validation. So now we've applied that data validation to all of the cells that have customers. All right, now let me explain how this count if function works. Let's come over here and say equals count if and use our left uh, parentheses. I like to use control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. So notice that there are two arguments. First is a range. So let's just come through here and select five uh, entries in there. Now the criteria to match it against, let's just choose the first entry up here. Now that's going to tell me that in this range there was only one ABC. So count if in this range, here's the criteria. Watch what happens if I change this to be a duplicate. Now this changes to two. All right, now let's undo that control Z. Let's come back here and now let's edit this formula. Remember we put in here equals one. 
So is it a unique value? Is ABC, which is our criteria, a unique value? Yes, it is. Look what happens when I use control apostrophe to copy the contents from the cell above. Now I get the false. And let's do control Z to undo it. So you see how we can apply data validation using the count if function to ensure that we have unique values. I like data validation because it gives the uh, entry clerk uh, a, a, a heads up of what to do. And it also has the error key in there, so it prevents us from having garbage. So if you like this tip, this is one of the tips that I offer on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007, and I'll see you in the next lesson.